Why, hello everybody. As you can see, I'm not sitting outside my house this time because I figured, oh, I should go get some more levels and stuff so that way when we start the next episode, we'll be good to go. And then, while I was in the nether, I was like, you know what? This is rather dangerous. I shouldn't be doing this unless I'm recording just in case I die and lose absolutely everything. So, we're gonna be just running around, getting some experience, hopefully getting a couple more enchants that are like good, especially for a sword. I need to start working towards like a decent sword. Um, so we're just gonna kind of be running around in the nether and hoping that a uh, gas doesn't spawn because I'm not like afraid of them, they're just super annoying. Like, really annoying. Hopefully also while we're doing this we can maybe come across another, uh, another, another fortress and we can mark it so that way we can come back Maybe not another time, or possibly later in the episode, just to prep another episode. Um, I'm not really sure, because we do kind of have everything we need other than enchantment stuff. So if we find something where we can kind of set up and have a good, like, blaze spawner, uh, for like a mob farm or something, that'd be pretty cool, but... Mostly we're just all about the dragon, I don't want to get too intensive with anything too crazy beyond that. So... Do do do! It's gonna be getting a lot of quartz. Um, kind of wish that like one of the villagers traded for quartz. That'd be kind of cool. Um, I'll have to put that in the forms for, you know, 1.17 or something, or like one of the last things they do as part of another update. It's like, oh, one of the villagers trades for it. Because I don't believe any of them do. Not even clerics. And I hear one. All right, we'll just have the sword out and ready. There she is. Gorgeous. And I missed. I horribly missed. It was tragic how bad I missed. And crap. Nope, missed. What are you doing? Being a brat. That's what she's doing. Come here. I'm ready. I missed again really badly. Oh, I didn't miss. That's kinda cool, if you ask me. I am glad that they make noise before they start shooting at you, like they start humming and doing all that stuff. It's very good to know when there's one nearby. Alright, so I'm hoping to get, because we're already at 30 levels, that was pretty easy because quartz is magic. Um, but I'm hoping to get to like maybe 40 levels so that way we can have like a couple enchants ready. So that way I don't have to like come back here every time one of them doesn't work. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's all I can say. Oh, I had the worst luck though the other day. I must I have to tell the internet now, even though no one wants to see. Um so I have I have another world that I kinda of work on just to like test out some things or like, oh I wanna do this thing or oh I wanna try out like villager farming and stuff. Just it's my own little survival world, it's just for funsies, it's very boring. Um but I was messing with it, I was like, oh, I should go see, like, what the layout of the stronghold is and just make sure I'm, like, ready for it for the survival channel. <laughs> I went there, and I swear, I spent two hours in there. I didn't die, because that was lucky, but I spent two hours in there, I tore apart the walls, I went through every single room, there was not an end portal in the entire thing. It was tragic. I destroyed the place because I was like looking on the wiki, I was like, there's no way that a stronghold wouldn't spawn a, like a portal, right? And it was like, oh, it's very rare that it doesn't. Like sometimes it gets like cut by like a ravine or something, but it's very rare that it's ever the end portal room because they have some coatings so that way it always spawns one. But for some reason, that particular stronghold was one of the rare moments and it was not like horrifying, but I was just like, really? And so I tore apart the walls because it was talking about like hidden rooms, because sometimes certain rooms will like accidentally spawn stone brick where it's not supposed to, so then it'll cover up like a door or something. So I did find one, there was nothing in it. I was hoping it would lead to an end portal room or something. And then I found another one that went um, to like a staircase and the big library, but it didn't take me to the portal room and I was very upset. I'm gonna have to like go a lot of blocks in a different direction so that way I can get the eyes of Ender to find a different one so I can look at it again. 
but I can tell you they have quite a few monsters if you're not moving fast enough. And because I was exploring, they spawned really quick. And it was attached to like three different caves, so it was just full. So hopefully that won't happen to us, because it's more annoying than exciting to watch when there's like four or five creepers coming at you in a row because they've all just spawned in the same area. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it all goes down. That'll be a whole episode is just finding it and then getting to the getting to the room. So we're not going to do dragon and room in the same thing I think, but it depends on how long it takes us to find the portal. So. Alright. Let's see, we're at 33. We've got another gigantic lava pool this way, but I boosted my render distance just a little bit, so maybe we can spot one of those fortresses a bit quicker. But I saw I did not. Okay, I'm just very, very blind. We'll go back. Um, hopefully we can spot a fortress a little bit quicker. Uh, I think the one we went to was reasonably small. It didn't have a lot of loot chests, so the next one we find, if we find it, can maybe have some more loot. I'd be excited about that. Because uh, they often have like just straight up diamonds in there, and I am not gonna complain about free diamonds. So that's that. Rightio also about the stupid sound issues from the last episode. So I was trying something because. Um, for most of the series, I've been using uh, my just my regular microphone um, for at least a couple episodes. I'll go see and then I'll type it up in the corner. But like, I've been using the regular computer microphone because I had some issues where I would like plug in my headphones into the side of my computer and the sound would keep playing out of the regular speakers. It wouldn't go through the headset. And I was like, that's really weird. And to be fair, my computer is not young by any standards, like it's, it's a couple years old, it's getting there. Um, so I was like, oh, maybe the audio jack finally broke down because I've been playing games on this thing since like 2015. So it's like, maybe me having headphones plugged in all the time finally wore it out, right? So I haven't been using it for a couple months, like I've just been hooking up my wireless headset and stuff and working with that, but I could never like get it to work with audio and... Um, like voice at the same time. So I tried it with a different headset and it was kind of working a little bit. Um, I will... I haven't edited the footage yet because I started recording this episode right after fixing the audio issues, but I was like, all right, you know what? We'll just try my gaming handset from ages past and we'll just plug it in see if it maybe works. Maybe just letting the audio jack sit for a while was all it needed. And I plugged it in and the sound switched and it's fine. So I don't know what was happening. But that's what was going on. Um, the issue that was happening in the last episode was that um, for some reason my Bluetooth headset would like auto disconnect and turn off every like 15 minutes or so, however long the space was. So, whoopsie daisies. Um, I've been looking at some stuff on the internet about it, and I guess that particular brand isn't really popular for. It's more of a like, I'm gonna listen to music on my phone, but also be able to t take a call if I need to. And so it's not built for listening to music and talking to someone on the phone at the same time. And so it just freaks out and will auto disconnect after a little bit for some reason. Kind of silly, silly thing, but I'm glad I figured it out before like many episodes in and that's that. So we're lucky about that. All right. Exploring. I kind of, I mean, I'm excited for the nether update, but I kind of do like the nether as it is because it's very like simple. And it's just like, it's just the nether. It doesn't need any like upgrade. Well, it needs an upgrade because it's very boring, but also like it's just very simple and you go find quartz, you go find fortresses, and it's kind of like a side quest in a sense to the actual Minecraft. But I am really excited for the update because. Um, there's like bastions and there's cool pig piglins instead of just pigmen and I think there's a lot more gameplay to be had in the nether which I think is a great thing and that is something we don't want. Alright, we'll deal with that in a second. I'm just curious if there's maybe 
Doesn't look like it. We're at almost 36 levels. That's 430 level enchants. That's pretty good. Um, let's see if we can't get a little bit more because I'm greedy and I like having experience. It's very useful. Um, go. Um, No signs of usefulness. I mean, there's all that quartz down there, but I am I'm lazy as well, so I don't want to like go digging too much to try to get to some place. So I think if we can get to 37 or 38. I might take it because um, we have a decent couple of enchants already, and we do need to do some other stuff this episode. Am I right? Uh, well, there's 36, but. Don't tell me. <laughs> also, if we we can plug up that lava and get the rest of the vein. So. Cool. Yeah, we are doing very very good. This is pretty good stuff. So if I do some film myself, I have way too much another rack than I ever will know what to do with. But I guess that's the point. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be stupid. Great. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just sneak in here real quick and plug it up. Perfect. No lava for nobody. I'm just gonna let it loose again, isn't it? Alright. Oh, it's not! Oh, sweet! Okay, cool. Just get this, and then we should be good. Because the other lucky thing is, hopefully I can head back and clear out some of the cows, and some of the chickens, and... I uh, use the XP from that for any sort of levels. But for now, we're just gonna head on back. He thinks we should be pretty good. So, if I spy some more on the way back, I'm not gonna say no. So I'm okay with that. There's a lot down there. And I might pause some of the recording in a minute just because I may not have the best sense of direction. Um, I do have a pretty good one, but sometimes it's not amazing. So we will see in a second if I need to start screaming and looking it up myself. But we should be okay. Just let's go on an adventure if I do say so myself. Adventure is out there, and sometimes it takes effort to find your way back. So, we shall see. <laughs> Do you remember this part with the big lava waterfall all the way out in the distance? And the pigs being nice and not being awful. And then this nice strip of quartz, which I didn't notice. We'll get us up to 38 at least, I bet. Let's see. Will it get us to 38? Do, do, do. Oh, it's humongous. Oh my goodness. There is so much. Alright. We haven't even done like the other half yet. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be able to like do an entire stinking thing. Right. Oh, is this not as big? Ah, we were so close to 38. What the heck? Ah, fine, fine, fine. Alright. Do, 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 do. Sounds good. Alright. Doing pretty solid, though. Um, I'm curious if down here has anything. Oh, 
There's some more. Let's get us up to 38. Can I say something? Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. We got so much. Now we're at 38. Cool. 38. We're not going to get to 39 because there's not enough down here. But this will definitely get us at least a good amount. So that way we can do some enchants for the end of the episode. Whoop, whoop. And then we can maybe start moving on towards some other fun stuff. Alright, there we go. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. I'm gonna have to do a lot of walking to get to uh, to get to any more nether quartz it looks like. But there is that nether fortress and then I'm trying to remember where Oh there's the portal over there. Okay, cool. I have to go find the little bridge thing, but you know, I'll just uh snag a little bit more experience if I do say so myself, you know, don't mind me. It's getting lots of experience, that way I can be really cool. Yes, I want protection for and I think we have blast protection on something. We have fire protection and projectile protection. It's not terribly helpful, but if I can get protection for and everything that doesn't have that, maybe I can shoot for protection for my other things. At least I guess it doesn't stack, so I don't know what I would do, but if I can get some other good things, that'll be very nice. Alright, 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 but look at that. I did find my way all the way back without having to, like, look it up or save my coordinates. I had to do that for a different one, but... Right, so we'll just head back. I think 38 is pretty solid if I do say so myself. Don't need too much beyond that. And maybe one day we'll go that way another time. Alright! Coolio, coolio. And now we're back. I still really like how I did the setup for that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So, let us get, I think, yeah, we need to make another sword. I can combine, uh, smite doesn't work on the dragon, unfortunately, so I can combine those two maybe a little later, but I need to make another sword. And then we didn't enchant that yet, so that's all right. And then we need books, which I have. We got lapis in here, and we'll just fling all this quartz in there, because I don't know that we'll need it. I don't plan on building anything particularly wonderful or glorious just yet. And then we'll make golden apples when we head out. Um, okay. Do I need anything else? I think that should be all. I will bring the axe for a throwaway enchant, but we will take some of this. And we need to make more paper, so that way I can... Make a couple more books. Eh, come on. There we go. Alright, cool. And then I think our next episode, we will go down into the cave and we'll just kind of murder all the monsters and see what kind of fun stuff's down there. Hoping to see maybe some diamonds or something, but it's unclear if we'll find any. Hopefully, though. That's the useful stuff, am I right? Cool. To do. Have a quick nap if I do say so myself. With the sun setting. Oh no, I left the door open. I'm going to get robbed blind. Just kidding. Alright. Cool. Oh, I need to make the sword. Whoopsies. Let's do that. Did I? I didn't bring any sticks. Golly gee, I am just a mess today, it looks like. But we'll make another sword. Maybe we can get some, something useful out of it. No one saw that. I swear it was lag. Alright. Let's see what we can get at the enchantment roulette today. So, sword. We've got Bane of Arthropods. Garbage. Pickaxe. We've got Silk Touch. We have silk touch on that one, so don't need that. Iron pickaxe. Same thing. Cool. Useless. 
Iron axe. Silk touch again. I don't want silk touch on an axe. Oops. But if we oops. Ah, I can't click. If we put the books in, we get lure, sharpness to, and unbreaking. Um, I need either another protection three book. Two protection three book. The thorns is good. I guess we can do the sharpness and then we can work up from there. Sharpness. What's the next book? Power three. Um, we have power four, so we need a, like a power four book if we're gonna do that. Sharpness one, that's not gonna be helpful. What's this? Unbreaking, not very useful. Knockback, I don't want knockback, especially not for the dragon or other things. I need like destruction things. Uh, how about our axe? Our throwaway axe. We do unbreaking, it's cool. Efficiency and unbreaking, that's cool on a one level. Alright, what's our next book? Protection 3, we do want that. Um, what about our sword though? Sharpness 4. I already got a sharpness book though. Let's do it. And knock back. Ah, I don't want knock back, but I can combine them. Ah, I should have gone for the protection. Ah, and there's another sharpness three. Oh, why does this thing test my soul? And then unbreaking. All right, well, we'll do sharpness three. I don't think combining sharpness 2 and 3 does much. And then what do we got? Unbreaking again. Okay, so we will run back and make some more books. We have 29 levels, so I'm gonna have to level up just a little bit. That was a thorough waste of my sanity, but oh well. So we'll put this away and this away. Or not the arrows, we want those. Um we are gonna need maybe another throwaway sword. Um, oh, there's more leather. Look at that. All right. So we're gonna make paper, 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 paper. And fun thing that I found out: you can put paper in here in any combination you want, and it still makes a book. You don't have to like surround it at all. Okay, cool. That should do. Oh, we also have the shovel, which we can enchant with a throwaway. But we need... I guess we'll go through the wheat and get rid of some of that, deal with a little bit of that stuff. Okay, put these books away. Um, we're gonna try to get one more. I am curious, if I put these two together, it just makes sharpness three. That's not helpful at all. And it costs what? Three levels? No thanks. I'll just keep those two together. I can put two sharpness twos together or something later. Um, put this away. Cool. So we'll just see if I can't breed up the cows and the chickens a little bit more. Just a little bit. And get, um, get just a couple more three levels. I literally need like a quarter of a level to really do good today. And then we will call it a day and then we'll head down into the into that uh, cave that's underneath this farm. I don't remember if I was recording when I originally discovered it underneath the cave, underneath the farm, when I was digging the uh, holes for the water, but that is where I saw it and then I forgot about it for like half the season and then I remembered that it was there. Okay, so 37, let's try to get even numbers. Alright, cool. Alright, chickens, give me points. I want to enchant something today. Give me experience. Yes, do it. Hooray, we're at 30 already. Cool, so I don't need to do the cows at all. We'll just head back round and snag the harvest and we'll see what we got. Okay, so 
with an iron sword, fire aspect's not bad, but don't think we really need that. Do we have... that's not useful at all. Um, let's see, books? What do we got on books? Depth Strider. Ooh. Depth Strider's pretty cool. Like, we don't... I don't have much on there. I'm okay with Depth Strider. That's useful. Well, there's nothing else on it, but that's pretty cool. Do have anything? And then a sharpness four on the sword. Okay. Okay. I can be okay with that. We'll work up to it. Um, that can be something we do in another episode. But for our final thing today, we're gonna just grab these boots. Projectile protection. Let's put, oh, wait, wrong, wrong order. There we go. Diamond boots with both of these and only cost six. Well, that's pretty good. So. I'll be able to walk through water extra fast in case we get to that point in the series. Anyways, uh, thank y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And leave like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. You know what to do. And I will see you on the next episode of Dragon Season. And for now, I bid you adieu.